As views from the office go, looking out on the glorious French island of Corsica must be hard to beat. But when you're working behind the wheel of the Skoda UK Motorsport Fabia S2000 on round four of the Intercontinental Rally Challenge, there's no time to admire the scenery. Reigning champions and current IRC leaders Andreas Mikkelsen and Ulla Flerner were focused on the task in hand, with a tricky opening stage waiting on the 55th Tour of Corsica. The stages look lovely, so we're really looking forward to get out there in the early time. The first competitive kilometres gave the crew a taste of what the island's asphalt rallying has to offer. Wide and fast stretches and narrow and bumpy sections alongside the constant risk of a puncture slowing things up. No dramas for Skoda UK on stage one though, fourth fastest through. And with a feel for conditions, the red, white and blue Fabia S2000 improved on that, with the quickest time on the next stage, moving them up to third overall. Heading into the mountains north of Ajaxio, a second quickest run through the final stage on leg one gave the team a 1.8 second lead overall, and plenty of job satisfaction for Mickelson. The first day was all about trying to find a good rhythm. Uh, on these type of four-second roads, it's uh, a lot of corners. And uh, if you don't have a good rhythm, it's really difficult because the stages are so long and you need to keep the tires working all the time and not overheat them. So I think we find a good rhythm and uh, we kept a good pace. Uh, managed to match Danny Sordo and Basso, which are very, very good tarmac specialists and uh, really happy with the first thing. And so, to leg two and a rather testing day for Mickelson and Flerner. I've done it last year, uh, a lot of the same stages, so uh, I feel more comfortable today compared to the first day. It started well enough, a confident flowing drive through stage four pushing the crew further ahead of their IRC rivals. However, it didn't go strictly to plan on stage five of the Tour de Course. The punctured wheel had to be changed and the jack refused to cooperate, which slowed up the crew by 2 minutes 45 seconds, dropping them to 24th overall. Basically on stage 5, we, uh, I was a little bit too fast in the left-hand corner, so we got a puncture and uh, the jack was uh, not working properly, so all I need to jack all the time while I was changing, so we lost a lot of time uh, while we were changing the wheel. So, um, okay, we dropped down some places, but uh, I'll do the best as I can to make up for it. On stage 6, the Skoda UK Motorsport team were back up to full rally speed, handling the corners with style to move up 6 places and they pushed on through stage seven, now up to 11th overall. And there was disappointment, another puncture on the final stage of the day, but it was still a great drive on the asphalt, leaving Andreas and Ulla in fifth overnight. The crew will be putting in overtime on leg three's 10 hours of rallying action, as they work to climb higher on the leaderboard and bank those valuable points for the defense of their IRC title. And the best way for you to keep up is by following the crew on Twitter or Facebook or by clicking on skodaukmotorsport.com.